Victor Campos here, and we are continuing our WordPress e-commerce site. So we've got one product so far, this uh, pecan pie, and it's uh, $10. So how do we uh, deal with uh, actually selling the product and shipping it and such? If you go back to our store, our store settings in the settings section, these are the settings for our plugin. We've got a section at top here for taxes. So you'll have to deal with taxes if you're phys selling physical goods. And by default, this is turned off. So you can turn the tax on. And then we have a few options, which the defaults are fine. Product prices are tax exclusive. Add tax to the price during checkout. That makes sense, doesn't it? You buy a product, and then it'll show you in the shopping cart how much it costs uh, with the tax rate product specific tax replace tax percentage with product specific tax rate so each product will have a tax rate applied to it uh, you can switch between the two options tax logic apply tax when billing country is the same as tax rate so if you're billing in the USA it will apply the USA tax rate once this is set up with taxes on particular products, they'll show up in the tax rates and tax bans. So check your local municipality uh, to check your tax rates and such. Another thing that you have to deal with as your own shop owner is shipping. How will you get your, your goods over to your customers? So under shipping settings, we've got use shipping, which is off by default. If you are only selling digital downloads, you should turn this off. Makes sense, right? You're not shipping anything. You're just transporting bits and bytes. So you wouldn't need it for digital downloads. I'll turn this on if I have a physical product. What is our origin city? The name of the city where you'll fulfill and ship orders from. This enables us to give your customers more accurate shipping pricing. So in my case, I'll put San Diego. Zip code. And if you use a service like Shipwire, you would turn that on here. Shipwire is pretty cool because they are basically a warehouse for you to ship your products from. They deal with a lot of, a lot of the logistics of things, but it's not a free service, of course. So you can click the link to read more. And if you want to offer free shipping discounts, you can set that up. Well, how much do things actually cost to ship? You've got a whole section here where you begin to set up your different price ranges. How much does it cost to ship in the continental 48 states, in all 50 states, shipping to North America, South America, Europe, Africa. So you'll have to fill this in yourself. You'll have to gather the information yourself. Go to your local post office and, and look up various uh, prices for various shipping containers. So as your own store, you'll have to deal with that. Just like Amazon deals with it, just like uh, eBay deals with it, all of these companies deal with shipping because they have to get the product to you. And this can be a bit complicated, but you can always uh, get information from the various, uh, the various uh, shipping companies that you use. UPS, FedEx, U.S. Postal Service, Airmail, etc. So you can look at that on your own. On the next video, we'll talk about one of the most important aspects of the e-commerce, how do you collect payment? So come back for our next video.